Everybody wants the buffaloes. Something interesting. Yeah, I you, guess they, they're, well, they're American. What do you think will happen with the price of gold and silver with the red wave? You know, I, there's no conspiracy, let me put it that way. There's a shortage of silver. No conspiracy? I don't think so. Here's a conspiracy. Uh, how things going here? Um, couldn't be worse. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, money is rolling in, and I can't get the product. Now yeah, I've got I've got everything on order. In fact, I have to make a couple of calls to make sure they drop ship some of this stuff. Um, gold and silver, both excellent. I just saw a customer of yours walk out of here with nothing in his hand. That's right. He wanted five ounce bars. What? Five ounce bars, yeah. What is with the five ounce bar? Uh, they're unobtainium. That's a that's a new metal, new precious metal. Yep, yep. It's hard to get them, huh? Yeah, it just takes forever to get them in. And, you know, we had this long discussion about, you know, Walmart selling silver rounds, and this guy wants buffaloes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want some other type. And after the whole discussion about how easy it was to get them out of Walmart. Well, he says, well, well but they're not buffaloes. Everybody wants the buffaloes. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I you, guess they, they're, well, they're American, you know. And um, even the Chinese make uh, Morgan dollar rounds and, you know, yeah, we don't fake want American those. eagles. Yeah. The reason why I buy from Mesty Bullion is because they're the top of the line. Service is unbelievable. The prices can't be beat. I uh, love doing business with them. They have the best prices. I trust them. They're extremely easy to purchase through. They have great prices and great products. Uh, integrity and fast shipping. Just a quality organization. If you want to buy silver, this is the place to be. Give it, give it your best shot. So, I'm assuming you have no bars. <laughs> I still have a few one ounce bars. Okay, those. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have some of those. Don't have the fives or the tens or the okay. kilos yet. All right, so let's go with those then. And uh, I'll take, um, let's go 30. How many? 30. 30 bars? Yeah. How long have you been stacking? Uh, just recently. You just got just, into it? Just started, yeah. Good for you. I'm sitting at home and I'm, at first we sold our house and then we. Um, put the money in some stocks and then about a week a month later two months later I'm like this is going nowhere <laughs> I go, and, I'm, and I'm seeing all this money they're spending and I'm like you know what this is worth nothing stickers. that's awesome <laughs> I did so get you more I sell this for $20 no you do not I got you more stickers Tim I'm sure you needed it <laughs> you got those in stock <laughs> yeah right you got stickers in stock how about gold what's that been like same same issue well it's just the, the American Eagles are very expensive I, I think the Canadian men has been pretty good their, their prices are reasonable um, everything is more than it used to be the premiums are higher than they used to be okay you know going back a few years we used to be able to um, sell just about anything for maybe two percent over at the most and um, wow. everything is more expensive but it, demand I'm is thrilled a little at, higher too. I'm thrilled at three percent now. I'm seeing five percent. Yeah, that's, that's, <clears throat> it's like it just keeps going or on. Or nine or ten. Nine or ten. <laughs> when it comes I should, to American Eagles. Yeah. Well yes, American Gold Eagles. Did you have to uh, turn many people away a few years ago? from your store because you just didn't have it? Never had it. No, I mean, if I didn't have it here, I'd just go ahead and order it and it would be here in you know, a couple of days. Okay, let's see, this one. That's good. So we have um, 20 here and 10 there. Very cool. You happy with the one ounce bars? I am. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. Silver is silver. You gold is gold. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. I just doing. know that this is always going to be worth something. And, and if it's short somewhere, then it's going to be a demand somewhere. Yes. So gold and silver happen. never see their value go to zero. Yeah. 
That's true. It's sad. Well, it, it takes sad. a while to get it in here. <laughs> so that's an indication that lots of people are buying it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'll probably see you next week. Okay, right. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. Bye. The one ounce Buffalo coins is the one that's getting to be a real pain in the rear end. Because what else? they, first of all, I ordered them in, it was end of August, early September. And um, the del first delivery that was quoted to me was October 3rd, then the, then the 10th, and the 17th, and the 21st. And now it's mid-November. But, I mean, they're paid for. I'd love to see them just come in. So, but, the, you know, the UPS guy, I mean, he carries a lot of heavy packages here. And I hope he's just not planning to come tomorrow because I really need to get that mm -hmm. stuff in here. Mm -hmm. You mentioned, too, in your conversation that you thought some of the uh, big bullion houses are had already purchased a lot of their inventory, and you were questioning is why the premiums were continuing to grow as the price drops. No, I, I think it's because what the, what the wholesalers have to pay to get this stuff. I don't think it's any different from that. I, I, you know, I, there's no conspiracy, let me put it that way. There's a shortage of silver. And, um, you know, if they, if they charge a lot for, a, you know, current year, American Eagle, that's because it, it cost them a lot. No conspiracy? I don't think so. Here's a conspiracy. Um, you want to have a high-priced gold and silver items? Uh, shut the petroleum industry down. Okay? There you go. You want to have um, high-priced fuel oil? Um, you know, approaching six dollars a gallon, like we're going to see here in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. um, and maybe you know, call the population as people die off from exposure and um, opening their gas ovens to heat them, their houses. Um, shut the petroleum industry. Well, out. some people will say depopulation is a conspiracy, and it's true. I, I heard, I saw a meme that says okay. the difference between a conspiracy and the truth is around two months. <laughs> when did they say that? Uh, about two months ago. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at the political ads we're seeing. Oh, Tell me yeah. if there's one political ad that is actually telling the truth. I heard one where, well, this rip got the price of uh, insulin capped at $35. I don't know who that is. No, he didn't. That was in the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. Okay, um, and it only pertains to people who have uh, Medicare Part D, okay, and um, which you're going to pay for, because they charge you for Medicare, and um, so coincidentally enough, it goes up every year, and so part of the part of the amount that everybody who pays for Medicare pays into the system is going to cover the the shortfall for that insulin. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's number one. Number two, along with that capping the price of insulin for the few people who have Medicare Part D, um, is 87,000 new IRS agents who are going to descend upon the people and um, either put small businesses out of business or put people, you know, threaten to put people in jail or maybe pull out their sidearms that they're going to have and threaten you. Um, what else is in there? Oh yeah, the big payoffs uh, for the climate change that are going to their billionaire supporters. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, all, there's so much bad stuff in this bill. Uh, why is this rep bragging about capping the price of insulin at $35 when he had absolutely nothing to do with it? And all he's, yes, the other thing they said is he's bipartisan a congressman who works with Republicans votes with Nancy Pelosi 100% of the time. It's total nonsense. But they keep telling the lies, okay? And the people who don't pay attention, oh, I'll go vote for this guy because he kept the price of insulin. No, he didn't. Well, I have a question for you from one of my viewers. Yeah. And it relates to the election. Hopefully the election. this will drop oh, the day before the election. What do you think will happen with the price of gold and silver, with the red wave? Well, the enemy of the precious metals has always been optimism. And um, 
yes, there there will be if you know, but people are going to have to wait for at least a week after the elections because they got to count all those uh, mail-in ballots that keep coming in. You know, and, but you know, it's, that's absolutely true. Yes. It's going to happen in every state, <clears throat> or let me put it, every battleground state. That's going to happen mm -hmm. where the ballots just keep coming in. And um, mm -hmm. depending on you know how much people want to look into these ballots to see if they're legitimate or not, I mean they may all be legitimate. Let's hope. Um, but um, yes, optimism will follow a red wave, and um, in, in so many ways, you know, uh, people think that they're going to you know maybe start up the pipelines again and you know drill in Anwar and I mean you know, a lot of things that should be reversed may be reversed, but understand it, it won't stop, start in November. It's going to start maybe in January. And, um, you know, it's as long as the um, Republicans step up and take up the challenge. Keep in mind that Trump had Republican Senate, Republican House, and um, what did they do about Obamacare that they said they were going to do? Nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, when uh, Robert said, you have the Congress, get it changed. If you don't like it, get it changed. And they didn't. So I think you're right in that I wouldn't be holding my breath that even if there is a Republican wave, there will be much change. Economically, fiscally, monetarily, you still got that guy in the White House. I don't know how much is going to change. Well, they, they, if every executive order they want to challenge is probably going to have to go to the Supreme Court and get overturned. Um, but um, also, if anybody thinks that ExxonMobil and Chevron, uh, any of them, yeah. are not doing anything, uh, just keep in mind this is a big world out there. And um, every time you know the Russians have a strike in one of their 83 states, um, they call ExxonMobil because they're going to be busy everywhere. Why? Because there's huge demand and um, not a lot of supply and not everybody wants to get their energy from Russia. So, you know, a lot of American companies are going to be working around the clock to produce the energy. Whether or not it's coming here, that's another story. Because there's no, if there's no way of moving it around, because all the pipelines are not operating, and it, it costs too much to run trucks on diesel fuel, um, yeah, we nothing will change here, all right? But um, these companies are not idle; they're making good money because they're working around the world. So, in short, if we have a red wave, do you think there'll be a burst of optimism, and do you think the prices, the spot prices, I should say, uh, I think precious metals I think will go down? Immediately, there'd be a lot of optimism. I mean, yeah. we, we may see ripples in the markets. Mm -hmm. But um, nothing's going to happen until January, if then. And, um, and getting the Senate is key, because everything they want to do in the House may not get through the Senate. So you know, you're going to have to have both houses, and they have to get serious this time. Are you optimistic about a red wave? I am, uh, in the Congress. You think a red wave is coming and could temporarily cause the spot to drop more? Oh, I think in you know a couple of days we'll probably see you know the market go up and metals go down, whatever. But nothing's going to happen for at least two, maybe three months. And uh, and then maybe not for two, three years. Who knows when uh, it's going to yeah, happen? Well, it's Republicans. They really their feet are being held to the fire now, and they've got to produce. And you know I've seen many times when. Um, they talk about reversing things, and then nothing gets done. And I think, in you know, when when Trump was president, um, the Republicans in Congress deferred to him because he was such a large presence. They figured, well, he'll take care of it. You know, we don't have to jeopardize our careers. It will let, and, let him do it. And I have a I have a bone to pick with the way he handled the fiscal and monetary. Uh, uh, policies in this administration. Look at look at the timing. Okay, he he finally decided to sign, sign one of those uh, spending bills if they added money to finish the wall. That was the whole thing. But it was foolish because it was foolish. 
he, he didn't have any, any track record. He didn't know how they're going to react. But that's the way it is. Once they've got you on something you really need, you're going to get everything else whether you want it or not. And that's the only way you're going to get a bill you can sign. Now, it's wrong. I mean, well, they used to do that to, to W. Sure. To Bush. They've done it to every presidential um, and then Nancy administration. And then Pelosi, go, you know, she'd get criticized for all, how much money they're spending, and she'd go to the, in front of the camera and say, well, this president is spending money like a drunken sailor. <laughs> you remember that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, but, you know, people need to understand, nothing gets spent in this country that's not authorized by Congress, especially the Speaker of the House. If the Speaker of the House doesn't want to fund the project, it gets yanked out of the spending bill. Um, nothing, nothing gets spent that isn't authorized by Congress. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, they, so they did. They, they nailed Trump with a, a mm-hmm. terrible spending bill, but there was enough money in there to satisfy him for building the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's the way they play the game. Mm-hmm. And if you're an outsider, you, you don't know that that's what they're going to do. Would that at all? change how much you might purchase from your wholesaler if you believe a red wave is likely and the optimism that could come in the short term? Well, considering the fact I've got about half a million dollars outstanding right now, probably not right away. (laughs) Okay. I understand you got to satisfy your customers. Yeah, i got to get something in there. I I got you. And um, there are two orders I need to get drop shipped. Rather than you know having them come here, uh, but it, it's um, a lot has to happen for the metals to be more available. And but do, do you, know, you think the demand would drop too with the red wave? Um, that's a that's a tough question uh, because everybody that I deal with is trying to protect you know their weak side. You know, and you know it's they're trying to get out of the watchful eye of the government. They're trying to um, maybe get some of their wealth out of the banks. Um, there's there's not much trust. There's not much trust in the banks. You know, we saw what happened to the truckers in Canada. Right. Uh, not much trust in the government. Mm-hmm. You know, when they even discuss things like we're going to get eighty-seven thousand new IRS agents out there to collect more money. It doesn't okay. encourage people to have more faith in the government. You know, when they when they everything they do is predatory. That's the right word. I'm a little distracted by all this gold down here, Tim. I have to admit, not so much the cash, but the gold. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of gold. Uh, do you have foreign gold in there? I do have some foreign gold. What would you be interested? How about uh, British sovereigns? Uh, Twenty francs. There's even a ducat. A ducat, yeah. Wow, you got a lot of these I do. bars. <laughs> That's great. I said I don't get a chance to put anything out in the morning because it starts <laughs> as soon as I get in here. So you do have some gold. Yeah, and I got more buffaloes. I like the Queen Victoria. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I think that's the... Is that the young one or the Jubilee crown? If it's fancy, it's a Jubilee. Looks fancy to me. Is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. a Jubilee Crown. Jubilee I think that's crown. what they call it. I mean, I hate to be totally wrong, but I think this way is. Two of these are in there uh, from South Africa. They're 1926 and 1929, I believe. Oh, okay. I get them all mixed in here. But are the uh, foreign circulated gold a popular item with your customers? Uh, sovereigns and 20 francs are pretty popular. Sovereign, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the only one I have here is um, is an angel. Uh, you have an angel? That was, that, that was the 20 francs oh, right yeah. after uh, Napoleon the Third, I guess he was. Is that it? Is that the angel you said? That's the angel. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this one. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. Very nice. An eagle. Is this a, yeah. Is that a twenty dollar piece? Yep, that is. That's pretty. And you have to be 
uh, mindful of its condition when you buy this stuff. It's not just, it's not bullion. Yeah, and I, not I, the same, I right? bought those from an individual, and they were both really nice. Mm -hmm. so, um, that doesn't belong with the gold. No, I'm not sure why it was even there. It probably came in as part of a group of gold. That's a pretty proof. Let me see if that's because I never, I never bring this all out because I never had time. <laughs> you never do. It's it's strangely quiet in here right now, Tim. The phone's not ringing. And, and I have a line behind me. This is great. People, people are here when I get here in the morning, almost always. Oh, they're lined and up outside. I've been trying to pay a gas bill, and I can't seem to get a pay. Oh, the, the, this is quite the, the smattering of gold you got here on this counter. Yeah, I never bring it out unless wow. I got somebody in, in the store who's carrying. So. I'm caring. Well, that's why I have it on. <laughs> I think the reverse on this is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. What's it called? The double? That's a ducket. Ducket, you're right, but yeah. the the back of it is just... It's just oh, cool. it's, it's a two-headed eagle. I'm not sure yeah. where that came from originally. That goes way back, though. Very nice. Well, we got more customers coming in, so I will... Buy something here, and I'll talk to you later, Tim. I appreciate it. Sounds good. Take care. Thank you very much.